Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. I got an update for everybody today. Uh, update and my thoughts of the uh, Olympics opening ceremonies. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so before I get going, look at this new cool cup I got from McDonald's. You know, Daughter wanted some McDonald's Happy Meal toy and some pancakes this morning. So um, look at all the white top. It used to be a black top. Um, cool cup. <laughs> I was like, what is this? But you know, I think McDonald's for the last 10 years have had the best cups. I never burned my hands. Don't need the stupid recyclable sleeves. Um, but anyways, enough of me compl no, not complaining, but touting mcdonald's cups um want to support my caffeine habit support my kids happy meal habit uh buy me a coffee backslash is the link tennis spin is the link link is below thank you everybody in advance and thank you for everybody who's contributed already okay um quick thing i just watched the opening ceremonies yesterday uh tennis was well represented we had Ostapenko, Jelena Ostapenko from Latvia carrying her country's flag into the ceremony. Uh, and guys, right, the face of, I feel like the world right now, uh, Naomi Osaka lighting that torch. That was perfect for the situation or the place that we're in right now. Uh, perfect person. Perfect time, um, perfect place. So congratulations, Naomi, for lighting the torch for your country and going for the gold. My prediction is you'll win, like I said before. So good luck. Now, um, updates. Everybody's been emailing me uh, and asking me what's coming out. And there's a specific racket that everybody's been asking me about. We move in over here a little bit. Hmm. Oh, there's stuff in front of it. Remember I said something's coming out? It could be this one. But I don't have a date yet. But there might be something coming out soon. You're going to have to wait for that. All right. Uh, but I have, but I do know. Uh, but they always keep it to the last second. Uh, but y you know what I'm talking about. Um, I've also heard facelift coming here. These The speeds are coming. But not for a while. That's we're looking at early, 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 very early, uh, after New Year, January. Uh, so Novak's racket, Novak will be toting a new speed or a new speed cosmetic at the Australian Open. What else is coming? Okay, we all know that's going to change because I've said it three times already. U.S. Open time, it will land in late August, mid to late August. Depends if if those, you know, those things off the boat fall into the bottom of the ocean again. Hopefully they stay on this time. So we know this is coming, okay? And it's overdue. Clashes have been delayed. Uh, that will be in the next year now. Um, probably early part of next year to maybe Easter. So that's going to be now way delayed down the road now. Um, I just got my playing with style rackets finally. So we're doing some Lacoste playing with style. So dress your part, Beverly Hills Housewives. This is your racket for that country club. Okay. We still got these, and these will be coming in different weights now. Coming in, I believe it's November, just in time for Christmas. So we're going to have a light, an Evo, 
a team, and of course the regular coming out in this day. Um, move some stuff around. Here. Strikes remain the same. There is a new prestige coming, but it'll be early part of next year too. Uh, as that one, it's time for that one to get some kind of facelift too. Um, what else have I heard? Hmm. Well, anyways, just kidding. Everybody's been asking me when pro staff's getting a facelift. That's at least a year or more down the road. Um, this has a, been a very successful um, pro staff and probably they're not going to mess with it um, until at least two years down the road there from the original one. Um, for some reason, power rackets are not uh, selling very well. So um, player sticks are definitely on the up, the up, you know, the rise, uprise, whatever, upheaval, whatever, are selling way better than, uh, than the, uh, what do they call the game improvement sticks? I call them the big oversized double sticks for the people playing slower doubles, let's say. I don't want to use my terms that I usually, because I might offend people. Um, Anyways, so that is the update for now. As I hear more, I will let you guys know. But there, oh, sorry, uh, Technofibers. Um, the IGA racket will be out uh, real soon. Um, that rebound, that T rebound. And there's a whole new X line coming out for Technofiber too. Um, it looks really cool. I haven't hit them yet, but we will real soon. Okay. So watch the Olympics. I'm trying to figure out that draw, but from what I can guesstimate, um, if all goes right, Novak will be playing uh, Medvedev in the finals. That is from what I've read and looked at. I'm trying to find a draw though. Uh, and then obviously, obviously Osaka will probably take the women's gold. Just to do a quick update, on shortage um, i'm actually going to start with the rackets real quick too um so arrows have been hard to get um i literally just got all these in and they're all quarters because i that was the last time i ordered them and they were quarters so i have no three eights um same with the rafas um bunch of quarters a couple halves no three eights so hopefully three eights is in the pipeline for august um uh, pure drives have slowed down too in deliveries um i mean i get them when i get them i finally got my 5 eight that i ordered back in uh i feel like march so uh if you want a racket this year and you want it badly and you see it don't wait to get it uh strikes are one of the hardest rackets to get right now. Strike in a quarter, uh, almost impossible to get right now. Um, I literally just got two in and that basically filled my special order. So strike is one of the rarest rackets and hardest to get right now. Um, blades, I finally got them and now they're gonna freaking kill it because they got a new one coming out, but I get stuck with the old ones. so. Anybody want a blade out there? I got them in stock, okay? There are 16, 19s. What the heck? What sizes are these? I got halves and three eighths. I don't think I have any quarters left though in the 16, 19. Um, clashes are very sparse and so are ultras. So they come in when they want to come in, I feel like. Head is actually in a pretty good situation. I can probably get those in two weeks, three weeks, some are even in stock. Uh, so, Yonex, thank God somebody's using their brain over there. Uh, they are actually well stocked. So, if you need a Yonex, I think you can get them right now. Okay? Now, moving on. Accessories have been okay. Like, I've been able to get most of the grips uh, in fair time, if not immediately. Uh, Gamma Supremes have been a little tough. I don't, I'm running out of, I ran out of white and I don't know when it's coming. Uh, same with strings. Gamma strings. I've never had to wait for gamma strings in all of my 30 something years 
of my tennis life and I'm having to wait for Gamma Professional, professional spin. And I'm talking about months. Luxalon has been okay with the strings. Selinko, thank God, has been okay with delivering me strings. Gut, natural gut has been very sparse. Um, I either get them immediately or wait 30 days. So it's been a little tough on that side of it. But thank God strings are pretty much in stock. Um, I'm looking at my string wall and yeah, as long as I've been able to get confidential and the Gamma React Pro, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Uh, Techno Fiber has been okay on shipping too. Um, balls, um, as you can see, I'm Dunlop only right now. Um, I got 12 cases of Wilson's a week ago and they gone already. So same thing with marathons. Marathons come in and they go. Um, Pro Pen marathons. Um, I'm only able to have these balls because they double and triple ship me. So, and I'm not sending them back because I wouldn't have any balls otherwise. So I'm, I'm glad to have balls. I know friends that have stores that have no tennis balls to sell you. So at least we can play. Okay. Moving on. Um, just got pickleball shipment. Pickleball paddles, so I'm good on paddles. Wilson Juice, Wilson Echoes just came in. I'm good with Selkirk. Uh, I actually, literally, these just walked in yesterday. So I've been sold out for 30 days of these big packs, and they didn't know when they were going to get them. Uh, but I finally got them. So if you want pickleballs, I have them. Um, shoes. Guys, if you want Joe Resolution 8s and you're a 10 and a half, you buy it when you see it because you ain't going to see it again for a while. So that's just my advice to you. Three people walk in here at least every day, right? They're, I need shoes. What size are you? 10 and a half. Like, eh, nope. Sorry. So, and they say, oh, uh, I said, go online. They're like, I went online. Well, what makes you think I got it then if online don't got it? Okay, so if you're a 10, 10 and a half, 9 and a half, 11, uh, buy it when you see it. Don't wait. Buy multiple pairs if you can. Um, I just got some cool Mizunos in. I bring you stars, clouds, solar system, whatever you want to call that. But that looks cool. That's for men, guys. Okay, I like that shoe. My intern already bought one. And I already have one. So that's a nice color. For the women, we got some blue, we got some white. Nice conservative colors. And I don't have many pairs. So Miami Dolphins in the house. In the house. Okay. And everything else is Court FF, women's, women's, not men's. So buy shoes when you see them, especially if you're a men's 10 and a half. The thing I've learned is that the most common size for women is an eight because everybody asks for a women's eight. Everybody asks for a men's 10 and a half. All right. Don't wait. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.